We're getting closer to the start of the 2022 football season. Sean Callahan with Husker Online here with ABM as we continue our look at Nebraska's different position groups heading into this season today. Uh, we're going to get a chance to catch up uh, with some groups of wide receivers joining us here in this first group. We've got Elante Brown, Wyatt Lever, Trey Palmer, and Marcus Washington. First of all, this is, this is Nebraska football in a nutshell. you got Chicago, O'Neill, Nebraska, Louisiana, St. Louis, and, you know, when you, when you think about Nebraska, I mean, that to me, guys, what is what is unique about your guys' locker room. Um, so many just different groups of people kind of coming together and, you know, making it work. Uh, you know, Alante, you've been here for a few years. I mean, how, how, how does that make Nebraska different from some places you've, you've been growing up? And just the culture, you know, just having people that is from different spots and relating to the culture that they come from and their background, seeing that they come from the same – thing that I come from in Chicago, uh, they handle themselves the same way and just had a love for football. Now, do you guys know where O'Neill, Nebraska is? No. <laughs> I will tell you, O'Neill, Nebraska has the best St. Patrick's Day party you're ever going to want to be right. a part of. And why it someday maybe can take you guys up to that because I've been there and they still have those Husker basketball players. The, uh, the Husker no, they have it for a few years now, but I remember going to it when I was a kid. Might have to get that going again. That was NIL before NIL. Yeah. Like the Husker players, when they would get done, would go up to O'Neill and places and play a basketball game for money when they got done playing. Yeah. Uh, but I've been up there. But yeah, why you've been in Nebraska for obviously a few years as well. Just the, the culture and, and kind of what makes this unique. I mean, just speak on that. Yeah, just getting to know people from different areas of the country. Um, they come from different experiences, as do I, so it's it's good to share those and then learn from each other and kind of pick up off that. And we got the two newcomers, two transfers. Uh, Trey Palmer, you came from Louisiana, um, from LSU. Um, how has the adjustment been for you to Nebraska? I mean, just moving to the Midwest, kind of adjusting to a new program. I mean, it's been smooth and all. Like, my brother's been helping me, coaches has been helping me, but everything's been smooth and I've been picking up fast and Marcus obviously from St. Louis originally um, j just getting to Nebraska you know in, in the early portions of the summer how has your adjustment been and kind of just blending into a, a new football program uh, so far adjustment's been smooth uh, like Trey said all the guys helping me out welcome me in with open hands and everything been going smooth Guys, you look at this group, competition. When I, when I look at everybody, I can see in your eyes. Everyone's fighting for playing time, for spots. Um, there's Mickey Joseph who's kind of brought in a new personality, um, brought in a lot of new players. Alante, uh, just speak on the competition and, and, and Coach Joseph and how that's kind of gotten guys going this summer. Uh, it just pushes us every day, you know. We've got a lot of talent in the room, and everybody knows that. So, Mickey, first, since the first day he came here, he said it's going to be a competition, and we just kept that in the back of our head. But when you think of competition, you think we still brothers. So even though it's a competition, we still helping each other on the little things. If you see any minor details, we still there for each other. But at the same time, we know that it's only going to be a certain amount of players that's going to be able to play on that field. So we're just doing as much as possible we can to make the team better. And why you've been here a long time, obviously. What has Coach Joseph brought maybe that's different than what you've had before as a wide receivers coach? Yeah, he just kind of makes us bring it every day. If we come out and we're looking a little tired or a little slow, he'll really get on us, and that's good, and it helps push us. So, yeah, he brings a lot of energy and has a good sense of humor. Trey, give, give me your best Mickey Joseph story. I'm sure you two have kind of cut it up over the years. <laughs> I feel like everybody knows the story, man. Yeah. On a kickoff return, well, how that happen? I mean, it's almost, is he like a father or like an uncle almost to you? Yeah. The way you guys interact? A father. So when you walked into meetings at Nebraska when you got here, I mean, did it just feel like I'm back at LSU? I mean, just same coach, same room? I mean, uh, just. I'm just a chill, laid back dude. So I'm just sitting in the back, laid back, and just watch things in front of me. And Mar Marcus, coming from Texas, um, what, what drew you to Coach Joseph and, and maybe just the opportunities here in Nebraska? Uh, with me, he preached like hard work and he got right down to business. Like he see my goal, you know, my goals and he gonna help me achieve them, help me um, chase my dreams. So that was the biggest thing with me. All right, Trey, I'm gonna go to you, you to this question. Why will this Nebraska offense be better than it was a year ago from what you've seen already? I mean, you, the room says itself, like it speaks for itself. Look at the room. What do you think, Alante? Just that's the attention to detail. Like you said, the talent that we got in the room, adding different guys from different areas, just made us go hard. And it just Trey feed off on everybody. Marcus feed us, so as well as Wyatt. So that just makes us go harder and harder as a group. 
And Wyatt, having a different quarterback, I mean, Nebraska had the same guy for four years. What have you, I mean, what, what will a new quarterback maybe do to kind of open things up with the offense and change things that maybe we've seen that will be different this year? Yeah, there's been some changes there. It's a little different. I mean, there's four or five good arms that are thrown to you. It's a little different than just catching from one guy. So we really have to work timing and put in extra time working on routes that way with him and with some other guys. So it's been coming together pretty well. Well, Marcus, you're the only one in this room that's played uh, with Casey Thompson. You were at Texas with him the previous few seasons. Um, what ha do you think Casey will bring to Nebraska? And, and have you seen him maybe change a little bit just in the time that you've talked to him since he's transferred to Nebraska? Uh, Casey's going to bring, like, he's going to help us, to me personally, with the mental side of the game, just knowing the defensive looks that to get and um, like just knowing what to expect out there. I feel like that's the biggest thing he'll bring to the table. Who's the fastest wide receiver in this group? <laughs> Trey, I'm trying to get Trey going. He didn't even flinch. I think Trey's mad at me for asking that question. <laughs> Alanta, you want a, you want a shot at the title? Yeah. Oh, who's got you? Trey's like, let's go in the parking lot right yeah, now. <laughs> now, Trey, did I hear right? I mean, you're open to run track even at Nebraska. If they would say, you want to run the 100, you run the 100. Mm -hmm. What was your best 100 time? 10-3. 10-3. I, I did you watch the NCAAs on TV yesterday? I don't watch TV. I think it was like 10, 10 one when I got you in the final heat, but oh uh, yeah, that's about second place for me. The speed, though, in general, Alante, do you the, the, is this the fastest group of receivers you've seen at Nebraska since you've been here? Yeah, most definitely. That's definitely not even just the speed, just overall talent. Everybody catching the ball well, everybody running great route runners, just working hard and getting better at the little details. So. Uh, Isaiah is um, someone we'll talk to as well in these groups. I mean, he, he didn't – we didn't see him in the spring, but he's also up there in that conversation of speed. Yeah, he's coming He's coming along, coming back from a uh, hamstring injury, and he's he was already doing great things before spring, so he's, he's going to be a big attribute to this team. Yeah, why a year ago we saw what Samore Torre could do, just bringing that big play. I mean, do you guys feel like you have more of those options this year than you did a year ago? Yep, I would say, I mean, when we line up to run routes and there's 20 guys that look – equally as good it's pretty good so I think there's plenty of guys that can step up and fill that role. Trey what will your role be when you kind of look at what your role could be in this offense how do you envision it right now? Yeah we'll see in the fall. <laughs> how about you Marcus I mean what do you think for a role like how, how do you envision you know to be utilized in this offense? Uh, me I'm just gonna make the play when it comes to me and then let the rest take care of itself. Well, guys, let's talk expectations uh, for the season. Um, a lot of people kind of, I want to say betting against Nebraska, but, you know, there's people saying, like, this, this team ain't going to get it done. Uh, do you guys read into that stuff? Do you, do you kind of keep up on the preseason magazines and rankings that are coming out there? And, Alante, I mean, how much does that drive, guys? I just laugh at it. I mean, it's just more motivation to us, you know. You and our own state, and we're supposed to be our favorite team, but y'all down there, so. We just laugh at it, throw it in the back of our head. You know, we got to work regardless of what people say. It's going to be doubters and haters no matter what we do. So, to me, it's not a big old deal what you got to say about me. Wyatt, for as tough as last year was with all the one-score losses, and you guys played eight teams that won nine or more games, um, what did you learn from last year? Uh, just how really close we are and how attentive to details we have to be. And there's a lot of stuff we've been doing this off season to address those little details that we hope to take care of and win those close games. Trey, do you look at any of the stuff out there said about this team? I don't even be on social media, I don't watch TV, I don't do none of that. What do you do? Play the game <laughs> and go to practice and do what I do. I mean, you strike me as a guy that wants to win and obviously play at the next level. I mean, is that accurate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I can say, if you ain't got haters, you ain't doing something right. Were you always like this? Yeah. You, you, like freshman year on? I mean, pretty focused? Just like this. What do you think of this guy, Marcus? You're, you you get saying? yeah. Uh, he character for sure, but he uh, <laughs> he be uh, he got his head on right. Like if he really know. Him. Yeah. Well, guys, you open up in Ireland, week zero, national television on Fox. Uh, same thing as a year ago, um, Alante. You remember that week zero game at Illinois? How much it changed the course of the season? How excited are you? for the opportunity again to plan week zero and go out to Ireland? Uh, you know, going to Ireland, it's, it's cool now, but it's at the same time, it's a business trip. We're trying to go out there and get the W in the most fantastic way we can do it, the most cleanest way we can do it. So we just want to show the fans what exactly we got coming from week zero. Why are a lot of O'Neill people going to Ireland that you know? Uh, I know a handful of them, but I think there's quite a few going to make the trip. 
So, yeah. And Trey, what, what do you think of the opportunity? I mean, I'm just trying to go overseas. I got my passport for the first time. Hey, I'm just trying to enjoy the moment. And Marcus, when you committed to Nebraska and signed here, did you have any idea that you'd be playing week zero with such a big game right out of the gates? Uh, I mean, I knew we played week zero. I didn't know it was in Ireland. Uh, I found that out, but like, it's football, wherever it's at. Well, guys, it's a lot of fun. Let's, let's uh, get to work now. Obviously, you guys, I know you got a lot of work ahead of you and, and looking forward to this upcoming season. Yes, sir. yes sir. All right. Thanks again as uh, we continue our in-depth look at Nebraska's wide receiver group for Husker Online and ABM. I'm Sean Callahan.